Hello again, everybody. It's Scott Casper, Takedown Media. Our coverage of the sport continues. Today we find ourselves in Lincoln, Nebraska. Nike Hot Seat special guest today, the Kendrick Maple. Kendrick, how are you? Doing great, Scott. Nice to nice to be talking to you again. Well, about six, seven days ago, the news came out from the University of Nebraska and head coach there, Mark Manning, that he had hired you as an assistant coach. Let's talk about that. First of all, how did it happen? Uh, it was kind of a out-of-the-nowhere thing. I was very happy uh, where I was at at Purdue, um, and Coach Manning called. He uh, offered the job, and it was uh, – a whirlwind. It had to be decided pretty soon, and uh, it was through a lot of play, a lot of prayers, and a lot of talking to my mentors that we were able to make the decision. What were the biggest factors in your decision? Um, a lot of things. It, it, there was a lot of logistical things, mainly just uh, like I said, prayers, but also it was close to my family. Um, I believed in what Manning was saying. Uh, he gave me, gave me his vision for the team um, and everything he's trying to work for and his philosophy. And I'm bought in 100% to that. He, it's something I can get behind. You know, if he were to call me, I'd probably go as well. But I don't <laughs> think they have my weight class any longer. Your wife, Jordan, um, how supportive was she in your decision? She's awesome. I couldn't ask for anything better. I mean, she was, uh, she just said, let's go. Wherever you want to go. If you want to stay, let's stay. If you want to go, let's go. She's been a awesome blessing, especially just because we're trying to move now and with all these trips, uh, as far as I'm at the OTC now and all that, it's been crazy, but she's been taking it like a champ. Now, your son, Kiner, is how old? He is a year and three or four months. Boy, I mean, you so. do have a blessed wife if, she, if she's <laughs> able to handle the move and a, a, a year and a plus, what would that be, 14, 15 months? Wow. And how you're able to focus on your career, I mean, let's face it, in, in April of 2017, uh, you became a two-time U.S. Open men's freestyle finalist. You're also a finalist at 61 at the 2017 U.S. World Team Trials, currently ranked number two in the country, so you are a member of the national team. Yep. Okay. By the way, who are you rooming with out there in Colorado Springs? Uh, right now it's uh, Jason Nolf and B.J. Futrell. Okay. So. A couple great guys. Couple oh, yeah. Guys. Great guy. Every year, I've noticed since, you know, Hutchinson, Kansas, then on to Wichita, and then on to Norman, you became better and better and better. Jack Spates once told me you have not seen the best of him, and you probably won't for quite some time. Jack may have even understated the reality of it all. Every year you get better. Every match you get better. Um, some would describe your ability to get better based on experience on the mat as being a sponge. How do you feel about that? Uh, well, that's awesome words and that's I hope to live up to that like I said I always try to be humble you know coach Spates is he's a great guy and uh, I, I love that he supports me uh, I have a lot of people supporting me like that but I'm always trying to learn uh, I, I feel I'm very raw in the freestyle uh, environment and I'm just trying to get better I'm just being around great people uh, like the like Jordan James and you know coming to these camps you know you don't get much better opportunities than this than train and get better and develop your skills we're talking with Kendrick Maple, new assistant coach at Nebraska. Tony Ursland really made his name there. What was his reaction when you told him? Uh, you know, there's a lot of emotions. Uh, with college wrestling and coaching, it's, it's, uh, it's a business world uh, inside. It's something that's so personal with relationships. So we grew, up, we grew very close over the year. Uh, I think our staff at Purdue was awesome. I couldn't ask for anything better. Um, and I think... He handled it exactly how I would hope he would. You know, he was very understanding. Obviously, he tried to keep me, um, but at the same time, it, it was a choice for my family, and that's my number one loyalty. Uh, but it was hard. It was hard to leave him and uh, Tyrell Todd and Jake Suplum because they're such great people. But I know they're going to find someone hopefully twice as good as me, and Purdue will keep climbing where they were. On the 30th, some five days ago, you tweeted, I am a ne now a Nebraska Husker. Did you ever think you'd say that? I, wasn't wasn't Nebraska on the table during your time of choosing where you were going to go? I think it was. Yes, they were. There's some bad blood there. We uh, So uh, me and Coach Manning, we joke about it a lot. So he recruited me uh, out of high school, but he stopped calling me as I was about to go to my uh, my visit. And it wasn't like a... Uh, you know, and it, we didn't go in a bad way at all, but it was it was very funny when he called me for this job. I was like, didn't you uh, deny me once? 
So, uh, but it was good. There's no, <laughs> it's all water under the bridge, and I completely understand. And uh, it's real funny though how things turn out. But no, I did not expect to be at Nebraska, but I'm very glad to be here. Um, you know, it's a a program that has something to prove. We're, we're right there, and I think hopefully I can help us take us to the top. You wrote in that same tweet, hate to be leaving such a great program and even better people at Purdue. I've known you a long time. You're a real likable guy, easy to work around and work with, and a guy that's constantly looking to make himself better and that of those around him. Um, I think that's a pretty generous thing for you to say, but knowing you, I think it's something I would expect you to say. (laughs) Yeah, well, it's... I, I didn't lie in that. They, they are some awesome people. It was great for me and my family because we, we went to Purdue with not having anyone we knew there. And Purdue welcomed us uh, as a family. Uh, we grew so much as I grew up as, as a coach, as a father, as a, you know, as a, as a Christian, everything. It, it was the complete package where I was really able to develop. And, you know, for that, I owe a lot to Tony Ursuline. At, uh, at Purdue, isn't there a burger joint called Triple X? Yes, there is. Did you eat there? I did. I didn't get to eat at the original one, but I did eat at uh, one of the sister ones, and it is well worth the trip if anyone <laughs> ever makes it out to West Lafayette. <laughs> Amen. West Lafayette, indeed. A lot of guys on the senior circuit are not full-time assistants, okay? Mm-hmm. Now, you and I talked a little bit about this off-air, but I know you've improved, but how have you improved so much as an athlete when most of your time has been dedicated to the success of others. Let's face it. You helped get three guys to the NCAAs last year. Yeah, it's definitely tough. And I've, I've even had a lot of people tell me that it can't be done. Um, but you know, that's the beauty. That's the beauty of the sport. You know, we, we go up against all odds all the time. And so it's, it's just something you just got to work hard at. You got to take time to be a little selfish sometimes, which is sometimes hard to do, especially with college guys. But um, just getting in there and getting good training. And fortunately, I had great training partners. I had Jake Souflone and Griffin Perry and guys like that at Purdue that really helped me. And I'm looking forward to working with James and Jordan and all the young guys at the Nebraska team. That should be great. So I, I think it's definitely doable, and it'll help me accomplish my goals. There was a couple of weeks ago where we uh, kind of had a Nebraska-flavored show on, uh, on the radio version of Takedown. We had on C.J. Red. We had on uh, James Green. We had on Tyler Berger. And uh, it was an outstanding show because we got to kind of feel the sense of family that these guys feel for each other at Nebraska. And when you called Mark Manning, and let me tell you what he said first. He said, Kendrick comes to us as a highly accomplished wrestler on the mat and a man of character, high character, off the mat. He'll be very impactful to our program and will add to the excellence that we've established here. So my question, based on that, is what was his response when you called him saying, Coach Manning? And he'll say, who is this? And you'll say, it's Kendrick. Kendrick (laughs) Maple. And the idea is, you call him up to accept the offer. What was his response? Oh, it sounded like pure joy. I hope it was all pure. I think it was. But uh, he, he was ecstatic, just like I was. I think it was a, a very mutual response because uh, it, it's just a blessing, man. It's it's something that I couldn't describe. Um, and I think there's a lot of good years ahead. You know, there's a, a, a rivalry that's only getting worse, I fear. And that's between Nebraska and, uh, and Iowa between the Brands Brothers and Manning and Snyder and everybody on that staff. I mean, this is them against the world, apparently. What are your thoughts about uh, stepping into that puddle, as it were? Oh, I'm excited. I really (laughs) am. (laughs) So at Oklahoma, you know, we had the the Bedlam uh, rivalry, and that was always intense. You never know what you're going to hear from the stands when you're out warming up. You never know. Even as a coach, you're hearing – crazy things in the stands i mean it's it's all in the fun and it all just makes the wrestling so much funner and so i'm, I'm excited I, I mean i i think i was a great program and i think uh nebraska um definitely has what it takes to to win that rivalry and hopefully i can add to it we're talking with kendrick maple as a sooner he was one of the most successful grapplers in program history grabbing three all america awards owning a 127 and 25 record that's 0.836 for those of you doing math at home his 127 wins ranked six all time in oklahoma and i find very few people willing able or uh, well no i'm sure they're interested but i don't think it's hard to match that pace maple and you know what it'd be even it'd be it'd be even different a different record if there had been no injuries yeah <laughs> 
Am yeah. I right? Uh, hopefully. <laughs> how, are you, how are you feeling these days? How is the body handling uh, the pressure of international style? Uh, I think it's uh, handling it great. You know, it, you just train a lot smarter the older you get. <laughs> You're not just gung-ho and going out and doing all the crazy stuff. So we still train hard, even, probably even harder than I used to, but it's just in a lot smarter way. Uh, you develop different techniques and listen, I, I love to pick the brains of all the best in the sports, you know, whatever coach I come into contact with, whether it be a D3 coach or a D1 coach, uh, I just like to pick the brain and you find little things that, you know, make, make training more efficient. And uh, I feel like we got a good grasp of that and hopefully I'll continue to learn more. Kendrick Maple, our guest originally out of Wichita, Kansas. I got to tell you, one of the things I'm most proud of in your list of accomplishments, and that list continues to grow, is how you did academically as a student and then going on into your master's degree in adult and higher education. You always seem to excel even in the face of adversity. Adversity comes in many forms, one of which is your workload as an athlete. Some, it, sometimes it gets in the way. Um, but in your case, you put it to use. How did you harness that challenge to turn yourself into an academic All-American? Uh, I, I would say the support. Uh, you know, a lot of things in this life you can't do without just great people around you. Uh, from the very beginning to my parents, just instilling, you know, striving for that excellence to, uh, you know, my coaches. I had a great coach in Mark Cody and Mike Leitner and all those guys who, you know, they, they really put a, a stress on how important academics were. You know, we weren't just another cog in the wheel, um, just trying to make it through and win some titles. You know, it was about setting up your future. And that was one thing I liked about Coach Manning and Coach Ursland, as in, you know, we're trying to build the wrestlers hol holistically. And so, you know, it wasn't just about the wins and losses. We were trying to really accomplish something. And I think that's the mindset that brought me to Purdue. That's the mindset that brought me to Nebraska, because um, that's the kind of experience I had. So the support. I think it, it's huge. So James and Jordan, James Green, Jordan Burroughs, have a very similar style. Yours is a little different. What areas do you think you'll improve the most by working with them? Man, I don't see how I can't improve in every area. <laughs> they're just they're, they're such great athletes and great people at that. So um, as far as my style, you know, I think Jordan and Jane, James both had to adapt to different, they're both athletic, they both got a really amazing offense, they had to learn to be able to hold guys off, learn to hand fight, and uh, that's something, you know, I strive, I need to uh, build upon, um, other than that, man, I just, like I said, pick, the, pick their brains, I hope to learn in every area. Kendrick, it's always good to talk to you, and every time we do, it seems to be the news keeps getting better, and better, <laughs> and better. Congratulations yeah. to you, and Jordan, and Kiner, um, mm -hmm. is there anything, any breaking news there on the, the parenting front, or are we good where we're at right now? Uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'll call you when it happens. <laughs> <laughs> well, call me after it happens. That's probably okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, that probably is better. <laughs> Much respect, bud. Congratulations. I hope you enjoyed the Nike Hot Seat experience today. I wish I could tell you it came with a pair of free Nike shoes, but that promotion is not going on right now, so you're going oh, to yeah. you're gonna have to settle for best wishes from me and everybody at Takedown. That'll work. Thanks, Scott. For all of us at Takedown, Kendrick Maple, he's one of the very good guys. Now going to Nebraska to coach and continue his, uh, his post-collegiate career and wrestling for the United States of America. What great honor. What a great honor indeed. Thanks for watching.